everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about what it's like having a small YouTube channel or a channel that you just started. Please keep in mind that we're not actually going to talk about how to grow the channel because if you want advice on that, you should probably go to a bigger channel. We're not really that big. Anyways, so the first point we're going to talk about is motivation. And this is key to starting and maintaining a channel, no matter if it's small or if it's big. Um, and the thing that we've noticed when watching videos from other YouTubers is that they say, oh, it's for my fans. I do it for you guys. And the thing is, is when you have a small channel, you don't really have that. So basically, you need to find your own personal motivation. So maybe um, it's something you love doing, like a hobby like art for us. Um, you can't rely on others when you have a small channel to keep yourself going. You need to have something that you're truly passionate about. So you want to make sure that you have something that that you're doing something that you really care about. Otherwise, it's not going to be much fun for you and you're not going to want to continue to do it. So it's really important to make sure that you love what you're doing and that you're just sharing it with the world. So another thing about having a beginning YouTube channel is you have to have a lot of creativity. Because you don't have a big budget, you don't have a lot of money for things like cameras, expensive software, tripods to hold up your cameras. You gotta kinda use what you have and kinda get creative with what you've got. Right, you don't wanna spend money on something that's not worth the investment. And I'm not saying that having a YouTube channel is not worth the investment, but in the long run it might cause some problems later. So you have to really use what you have. Look around your apartment, your house, whatever, and use things that you wouldn't necessarily think about using to film. Um, for example, when we first started out, the first camera stand we had was a bunch of boxes stacked up and I had taped the phone to the boxes. So it wasn't really the best. And eventually I moved up to a metal can with some rags inside of it to prop up the phone. We didn't have we didn't have expensive cameras, we didn't have tripods, and to be honest, we still don't. So you have to make sure that you're using what you have and you're not wasting resources. So the last point we're going to talk about is that it's extremely rewarding. Now, this is mainly talking about new channels, not necessarily small. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> so the last point we're going to talk about is the rewarding aspect. And that is when you start making videos, and this is for any beginning channel, is that you're thrown into this new world of video making. Um, you need to know editing, editing software, all of this fancy stuff that you never knew before. But after a while, you, stay, you stitch getting used to it. You start getting used to it. And so you're learning, you start learning all these new skills that you wouldn't have learned otherwise, per se. Yeah. Another, like, really good thing to see is that you can, like, see all of your progress. Like, I do most of the editing, kind of, a little bit. Sure. Anyway. But it's really great to see how the editing, your editing skills improve throughout the video, throughout making videos. Like, the first video you edit is not going to be very good. Unless you have, like, this natural born talent, in which case I congratulate you. But, like, it takes a lot of practice to figure out the software, how to use it, how to make your the video quality the best it can be and so it's very rewarding once you see how much better your editing skills have gotten right and it's not just editing so um for us personally the lights at first the light was really bad and it's gotten better i'm not sure i'm not sure it's the best i'm not certain it's the best but it's getting better the audio too we've been experimenting you can see throughout our videos some are really bad some are really good some are in between and lastly the content has improved at least i'd like to think from the first video we made that had some uh nice music and some art to it anyways guys we hope you enjoyed the video um, we hope that this helped you in some way. If you have a beginning YouTube channel, just remember, they all start out kind of rocky, but it's, like, great to keep trying and pushing through. Um, we hope you enjoy it, and we'll see you guys next week.